Also, Fan TV, um, a good three points today. We needed those three points. Oh, we do, we do. And you know what? People should stop saying that Swansea was an easy team. You know, for the past three seasons or four seasons now, anytime they come in here, it's always a tough game. They always give it to us. So they should give them. People should stop saying that it was meant to be an easy game. No. And I must admit, I'm guilty. I thought before the game, they would be quite an easy. You know, looking at what Swansea have been doing this season, I thought to myself, this was going to be easy work today. But no game in the Premier League is easy work, That's is right. it? And if you look at this way, uh, look at the. Well, the last two games, they've lost. I mean, they did lose their, their last two games. And obviously, I knew that when they're coming over here, they'll make sure that they don't lose it today. And that's what actually will happen, you know. And, well, obviously, we did concede the first goal, but uh, people were kind of thinking, that, well, you know, at what point I was sitting up there saying to myself, oh, would it be the end? Would it be the end? But I like the second half, you know, the positiveness, you know, the way we came out, the full spirit, you know, coming out and start attacking and playing. You know, I did love that one. And mm. I just want to say some quick things. First of all, commiseration to the Spurs fans anyway, <laughs> Paul, people like Paul Richard. And uh, against City, do you know what? Be, let, let's be positive. Against City, well, I, I know they're playing okay anyway, but today, guess what? Okay. Mo, Mo just said to me that they considered two goals. It yeah. was free too. So hopefully we should be able to score against them. And mm. against Spurs, here, Spurs, rubbish. You can't do anything, man. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be honest, um, the first half, it's been a typical first half this season. We tend to be a bit slow. In the second half, when we concede, we tend to then pick it up a little bit. So I think the manager needs to look at these games when teams like Swansea come and think, do I need three at the back? Can I maybe pair Lacazette up front with Giroud like he did in the first game? Yeah, why don't, why don't you, I, I agree with yeah. you there. Why don't sometimes, when we know that you, these teams are going to come and they're literally it's two banks of four, why not go for it? Why not? That is the sort of thing yeah. that City have been doing this season, isn't it? Yeah, I think that the managers generally mismanage this squad on the whole. I mean, it's one of the criticisms. Does he kind of keep players involved enough? I would personally like to see Giroud play a bit more. I mean, I know Lacazette gets um, a lot of praise because he's a new signing, but I haven't seen enough of him yet for me to really justify why there's a big clamour. I think well, he's, unless he he's scores... Just, he's just got into the team, though. No, no, he's just got into the team, so just give him a bit of chance, I know, but a bit of time. If you, come in, if you come in to be the missing article, and it's not a criticism on Lacazette, but he's saying unless he scores, I don't really see enough. I know he makes mm. a lot of runs, but it's the same criticism we, saw, we say of Theo Walker if he doesn't score, no, he doesn't do anything. Sorry, you can't compare if you're what to Lacazette. Lacazette is a striker and we just bought him this season. And he just, you know, this is his first season. So I'll just give him a bit of time. I'll, I'll compare every player that's on the pitch either for a minute or a year because no matter what you're playing, do you see what I mean? It's as simple as that. I know I'm not criticising Lacazette as a player. I'm just saying at the moment, with the way the team is playing, being not used to him, he's not maybe offering us enough in terms of the overall team play that maybe Giroud would. I know Lacazette will probably score the goals Giroud wouldn't, but when Giroud doesn't score, I mean, look at our best goals. Giroud is involved in half of them. So I think with Lacazette, if he's not integrated into the team properly and the manager's spoken about adjustment periods, then do we want to risk playing him in games like Liverpool away where, you know, we're not when well, he didn't play, did he? Didn't play. Or, 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 Chelsea, or, or Chelsea away, for example, where he has chances and he's not sticking them away, where he's generally oh, no, quite quiet. He took him Listen, off. Listen, yeah. finally, let me just ask both yeah, of you yeah. can we go to City and Thank win you. next week? Oh, yeah, I believe that we could get. I mean, we, do you know what? I'm not trying to say, well, we should be able to win it, but at least we should be able to get something out of, uh, of that game anyway. You, if we can bring the spirit of the cup finals where it's the team performance and not the individuals, then of course we can. Um, obviously, City. What do you do? Do you either sit back with City or do you press them from the front? I mean, whatever tactic, one of the... It's difficult, but we can do it. Will we do it? That's why we turn up every week. <laughs>